welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting and hard integral integral from 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of cosine of x square dx okay how to begin well we know about the beta function beta of a b is equal to 2 times 0 to pi over 2 sine to the 2a minus 1 of x cosine to the 2b minus 1 of x dx and now if we take partial derivative of beta function with respect to b we can write uh, partial derivative of beta function beta of a b is equal to 4 times 0 to pi over 2 sine to the 2a minus 1 of x times cosine to the 2b minus 1 of x times natural log of cosine of x dx and now if we take um, partial derivative again so we can write here b square beta of a b is equal to 8 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine to the 2a minus 1 of x cosine to the 2b minus 1 of x times natural log of cosine of x qua dx okay now we have c integral from 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of cosine of x qua therefore i'm going to sub substitute a is equal to b is equal to one half so we know if a is equal to one half two get cancelled one minus one so sine to the zero power so this is equal to one also this is equal to one then we have integral form zero to pi over two here eight and here natural log of cosine of x square uh, is sorry dx is equal to now here this time this side uh, second order partial derivative of beta function okay now we know the partial derivative of beta function so we can write partial derivative of beta function is equal to beta of a b times di gamma of b minus di gamma of a plus b then if we take uh, derivative again so here we can write second order partial derivative of beta function is equal to beta of a b then uh, bracket di gamma of b minus di gamma of a plus b square then plus tri gamma of b minus tri gamma of a plus b okay then we can write our integral uh, 0 to pi over 2 here 8 natural log of cosine of x square dx is equal to now beta of we know a is equal to one half b is equal to one half uh, here sorry here we take a is equal one half b is equal one half so beta of 
one half one half and here digam of one half minus digam of a is equal one half b is equal one half so digam of one here square plus here trigam of one half minus trigam of one okay then we know um, then we know digam of one half uh, is equal to minus two times natural log of two minus Euler's Muscarone constant or Euler's constant and digam of uh, one is equal to Euler's constant and trigam of one half is equal to five square over two and trigam of one is equal to five square over six also we know uh, the beta function uh, beta of here we have beta of one half one half so one half one half is equal to gamma of uh, if we take the general formula we know beta of mn is equal to gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so here gamma of one half times gamma of one half over gamma of one and also we know gamma of one half is equal to gamma of one half is equal to square root of five this is familiar with us and now we can take here gamma one half gamma one half so square root of five square root of five so pi gamma of one we know one okay then we can write uh, 8 times integral from 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of cosine of x square is sorry dx is equal to now beta of 1 half 1 half we know pi and then digam of 1 half so yeah digam of 1 half we know digam of one half is equal to digam of one half minus two natural log of two minus Euler's Muscarone constant, and then here we have digam of one. So digam of one we know Euler's Muscarone constant, and here square, then plus, then trigam of one half we know five square over two then trigam of one minus five square over six okay now we can simplify so we know this Euler's Muscarone constant get cancelled and now we can write pi times here two times natural log of two is square so four times natural log of 2 square and here 5 over 2 minus 5 or 5 square over 6 so 5 square over 3 okay now we can simplify here uh, 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of cosine of x dx is equal to now divided by 8 so 5 over 2 natural log square of 2 and here um, 24 so plus 5 raised to the 3 over 24 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching